Hello and welcome on the Wi-Fi YouTube channel. This is Emmanuel and I'm going to show you how you can remotely develop a Wi-Fi bootable jar application. So here we're going to use a, 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 a running container and develop onto it. So the first step is to have an application. So we're going to use the remote microprofile config uh, application. This is an example uh, coming from um, the Wi-Fi jar Maven plugin uh, project. So this application is a very, very simple web application that uses a uh, macro profile config to get some configuration value and just expose them. For, our, for this to work properly, we need to be able to connect to uh, the management API. So here we are executing a quick script called anonymous management which uh, remove the, uh, the need for authentication when accessing the management API. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to show you now is uh, the Docker file I'm going to use. So as you can see, it is very, very simple. It uses OpenGD 11 image, and we are just copying the bootable jar application we have just built onto it. Okay, so, Let's do it. So, on man build docker file and call it remote macro profile config. Okay, now we are going to run it. So, I'm just going to use. Um, Uh, a separate tab for it. So we're going to, to run it using port 8080, that's the HTTP port, and the management API port, which is exposed on 9990. Okay. So let's connect to Firefox into it. So that's. Okay. So here we are. So now what we need is to use the devwatch uh, goal. So, let's open one of the tab here, or this one, yeah. So I'm going to run the Maven jar, the Wi-Fi, sorry, the Wi-Fi jar Maven plugin version 8.0.0 alpha 2, or beta. And I'm passing two parameters, one which is to tell it to connect remotely, and one which is the the address, the IP address of my uh, running container. Okay, and here we are. Now what we can do is, is just to develop. So I'm going here, and I'm going to use uh, VI to change uh, some, let's say, some resources. So that's one source of the config values. So I'm going to just add hello world, ah, sorry. it removing uh, hello world from automatically inside the application and I'm just going to save it and now if I go on the application you can see that the config value has been updated now let's edit uh, some java file so source main java Okay, here we are. Let's change, for example, the path here. Let's call it slash hello and change the value of uh, config property one. So let's call it hello world from my code. And we save it. And now, if we go here and update, it doesn't work because I switched the path. So I need to change the URL. And here we are. So, we have seen how easy it is to develop uh, a Wi-Fi bootable jar application remotely with the application running in a Docker container. I'm just connecting to it uh, to update uh, the code or any files uh, that is uh, 
used by the application. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. Bye.